I still think the ticket price is too high. You'd expect a Valentine's Day like this to be sold out. It's for charity, Cindy. The more money we raise, the better. You've got to be realistic. You nearly done. <sighs> this is Abby. Have a drink. I'll be with you in a moment. There's a limit to how much people are prepared to pay. It's for my youth foundation. Oh, this is Alia, a rising star in my organisation. Why don't you join us? I'd rather not. Why are you doing it? You act like you're a do-gooder, but then you try and sexually exploit the women who work for you. Hold on. That's a very serious accusation. How dare you? A woman has come forward. The Gazette are going to run a story on you. Are they? There's been some accusations made, but that doesn't mean the Gazette are going to run a story. Who are you? Cindy Watson. I'm the editor. What's he got over you? Got over me? I'll call you later. Trust me, tomorrow's do will go without a hitch. Sorry about the aesthetics. Everyone's trying to get money out here these days. Well, well, we just back up a bit. He's got nothing over me. So run the piece then. What piece? You offered no proof. Just hearsay. Hello, shall I knock one of you out so the other one can tell me what's going on? What's Ray meant to have done? He's a perv, a sex offender. Do you want to see my DBS certificate? Last I knew, they don't give them to offenders. He lures women into hotel rooms because he can't get a girlfriend any normal way. Well, well, well that's news to me, because I met him in a normal way. You're seeing him? Did you know about this? So what's he done to you? Nothing. Then shut up! He propositioned me. Oh, ridiculous. Lied to get me to a hotel. It was a meeting. What did he do to you? Force you to meet me? No. Drag you to the hotel, touch you in any way, no. You made me feel really uncomfortable. Oh, it made you feel uncomfortable. Oh, girls like her discredit women with real grievances. I've got to go. I've got a charity do to organise. I'll call you later. Coward. I'm a journalist, not a gossip columnist. I'll only publish what I can prove in court, because, quite frankly, I can't afford to be sued. Excuse me. And what am I meant to do? Work for that pig, Jeff, again? Ditch him. Oh, I love being told what to do. Ta. I can't believe you defended him. Did I? Name one thing I said. You questioned us. The journal questioned you. I questioned her. And me. Look, he has got something over it. I would bet on it. But what is your excuse? You should have dumped him on the spot. Bet it's the money, isn't it? Can you see what's going on in my head? Can you? No. Oh, it so is the money. Oi! Watch his arm. Clumsy cow. Is it because of his jabs? Who told you he's had them? Are you meeting Daniel here? Uh, I can take my great nephew out without having to clear it with you first. Because uh. we love spending time together, don't we? Yes, we do. Not that it's got all to do with you. <gasps> yes, we do. Oi, Barbie. <laughs> oh, sorry. Gotta go. Okay, bye. It's Cindy. Well, at least I didn't call you girls well. If you're going to try and make me publish that story. No, I'm not. I heard you say no, and in my world, no means no. Does Ray feel that way? Look, his company is one of our biggest advertisers. Without proof of what Bethany's saying, I'd have the board on my back in a P45. And there's no proof he's done out? <laughs> there never is. What, well, he's happened before? When? Fact is, if you want to publish stories about powerful blokes, it has to stand up in court. That's it. No proof, no story. It's not about the truth. So it's true? He's a sex pest? No comment. <laughs>